Hello and welcome to Calagra Market by Sensible, our daily show on Nifty, Bank Nifty and USDNR. What do we do here? We look at charts of Nifty, Bank Nifty, USDNR. We look at open interest, we look at FIDA data and we try to form an informed opinion on what we can do tomorrow depending on how the market plays out. Remember the emphasis on this show is not really about predicting the market. It's about reacting to the market when market does what it wants to do. Right. So on that note, let's get started with Calagra market. So number one, Nifty chart. Nifty today gave a very decent volume wala bullish candle which just stopped in short of stopped short of being a bullish piercing right if it had crossed the halfway mark and closed here I would have been extremely bullish about the prospects but it has only given nearly halfway mark so kind of a bullish piercing but not fully bearish, bullish piercing I can only call it a green candle I don't want to even call it a bullish candle uh, Still below the blue trend line is the main takeaway, right? So if we look at futures chart, it is below this trend line. If you look at the spot chart, it is below this, oh, is this, this is nifty spot, right? This is nifty spot. And if I look at futures, it is below this trend line so whichever way you look at it it is below the blue trend line so as long as it is below the blue trend line all we can pay play is still 17800 on futures and if you are following the spot chart and honestly right i still don't know which one is the right thing to follow because like it's kind of controversial right it could be either so i don't i don't want to get into predicting ki konsa sahi hai but yaar ye kafi galat how to reload nifty chart so spot chart very close to resistance future chart we are slightly away from resistance i would tend to believe the future chart more but whichever way it is not bullish because it is below the resistance which is the blue trend line right that is the most important thing now let's look at bank nifty bank nifty almost formed a bullish engulfing but failed right because this is not a bullish engulfing because it is just reaching this spot it has not filled the gap it still stopped at the gap so bearish engulfing confirmation down move after the confirmation but recovery and stopped right here right this is not engulfing it's a failed engulfing <coughs> dollar largely flat the space either other so i don't want to read into it and come to a conclusion so uh both bank nifty and bank nifty are bouncing back from lows on the this thing it is not a reversal it is a bounce back so the as long as it is below the blue trend line there might not be a point in going long right that is point number one now let's look at open interest chart now this is the interesting part right 17400 and 17500 witnessed a lot of call writing 17600 witnessed sorry put writing 17600 witnessed nothing right and that's a little suspicious right because 500 and 400 saw puts 600 did not witness any uh, puts in fact there was hardly any unwind except even in 7500 it is not significant unwind 600 had tiny unwind 700 for some reason had unwind but largely this is what the option chain looks like we can see that from here there are some resistances 17500 is a support right so let's write that down um, 17500 is a support 17600 plus is a resistance now let's look at PCR mildly bearish at 0 0.8 there's nothing to read uh, but here's the confusing part FII today bought 40,000 puts and bought 25,000 calls right so this is mixed signals like half the FII's are saying ki boss long jayenge other half are saying nee boss short jayenge so Conflicting signals on futures it is neutral 110 k crores uh, selling neutral uh, stock data final score by mild bullish mixed signals right overall this is mixed signals for me on nifty bank nifty everything there is resistance above in nifty which is a blue trend line but thoda bounce aaya hai to shayad dekhenge ki kya hoga uh, uh, selling calls above 17700 and 17800 levels might be a good idea see if you are very daring and if you have a bias for short, bullish then you can even short 17500 and 17400 calls because 
now your hypothesis is that it will go and test that blue trend line right so i'm not saying that it will go there but if you have a theory that yaha tak wapas ek aur bar test banta hai which is very close in spot chart slightly far in future chart then you can maybe even experiment with 17400 k puts but i think the safer thing to do might be 17700 plus k calls not that it there is much premium in it but you can probably sell that if it gives you a big dip now maggie is saying i am having a strong bias towards short yaar nee nee aisa kuch nahi hai see at this level right above the blue trend line i will go long below the blue trend line there is no point in i mean it's not a bias right now to it's a pure clean technical view right ye channel kafi time se chal raha hai iske niche short karne ka iske upar long karne ka तो दर नथिंग लाइक कि मैं मेरा बायस है बॉस मैं तो शॉर्ट मारूंगा दिस इज जस्ट अबाउट दिस इज नॉट अबाउट मी दिस इज प्योरली अबाउट द चैनल राइट सो सी इफ यू हैव शॉर्ट्स व्हिच यू इनिशिएटेड अबाउट 17800 लेवल्स देन यू कैन होल्ड ऑन टू देम न्यू शॉर्ट्स आई वुड से इफ यू आर शॉर्टिंग सी इफ यू कैन गेट इट वेरी क्लोज टू दिस लेवल व्हिच इज द ब्लू ट्रेंड लाइन लेवल और यू कैन सेल लाइक 17700 और 17800 का कॉल्स एंड यू विल बी सेफर राइट Uh, so that's that uh, dollar largely not coming down so dhruv is asking a question can you please explain how to see rollover when on a daily basis if i is buying puts and calls um, dhruv can you shoot this question as a mail to my name at sensible.com i can understand this question better and answer taking more time uh, so what else is there nothing else is there right this is our analysis largely for today um, is there any social cause message which you want to do here no nothing really right so the idea is don't chase something till it is confirmed right so my point is that as of now entry back into the channel is confirmed not breakout breakout is only some 200 points away right and so my point is this right if you feel like going long here the catch is this so let me take the futures chart because that has more potential in the long right if you are planning to go long here this is far away and if you go even long here there's a lot of resistances you have to overcome right so let's say you went long here uh if you 7800 anyway is the blue trend line right so 200 points you will miss if you waited till the confirmation of the breakout right even otherwise when it goes close to this trend line and does not give any rejection we can consolidates and approaches closer and closer and closer then you can of course go long right but if you are going to go long here waiting for this thing to break that might not be a good idea because your stop loss could be very deep at this 200 dma so if i were you and if i have a long bias right what i would do is i won't long here i'll see what is the price action here if it goes back to 17800 levels and there is rejection then i won't long but if it goes to 17800 levels and there is no rejection wick it consolidates it is threatening that level right jaise ki yahan pe 15900 when it broke right it went near 15900 came back a little bit again went near it and then broke out right so and that move will give you like 1000 points types here so this 17800 pe break agar milta hai to aapko kafi bada move milega 700 800 points right ye but if you go long right here in that chakkar thinking ki mere ko aur 200 points chahiye that might not be a good idea because it is still within the channel so what is my long trade i will wait till 17800 is convincingly broken and go long but as long as that is not broken i don't think there is a point in going long so above the blue trend line with volumes confirmation all that clear long below that i will be short this is my net net nifty long term positional view right so that is our and oh, okay actually yeah that's a good question i'll do one more thing right we'll just see what is the volume profile today on an intraday time scale so on an intraday time scale you can see that it is below 50 dma on hourly moving average 50 hma uh volumes here it is mostly buy volumes towards the bottoms upar to kuch khas volume nahi hai to nothing there i'll also show multi strike oi quickly yeah there's a dip in puts towards the end but a rise in call towards the end that's interesting right usually fall in call and puts both are unbound oh no no correct so that is the next expiry call and put both got unbound towards the end of the day that is intraday unwinding but largely both of them are going neck and neck the most active call and most active put in fact i would say that 7600 call had a lot of new addition uh, today on 25th august which 
no no that was yesterday today it was flat today this put is also flat here it's not like anything bhayankar has happened right after it reached this level it largely tapered uh, one more thing we can look at is yeah this is it oh in case you are uh, new here please do check out our option chain we have added some very cool stuff uh, newly that is pcr of each strike uh, intrinsic value of each strike time value of each strike probability of now time value and intrinsic value you are koi bhi aaram se nikal sakta hai that's not a big deal but if you want to quickly see time value and intrinsic value right like you might not have the time to do all that mental math but if you want to save some effort you can quickly see which one has the lowest intrinsic value so let's say you are doing that itm uh, option instead of buying future wala trade right that is where you can go for the one with the lowest time value so for example if you want to be long nifty right one way you can reduce your time value is go for the least reduce your premium is go for the option with the least time value which is around uh, you can buy like 17300 or 200 call or even 17400 call you are only paying 13 rupee time value so its delta is almost one you can you know if it goes 100 points you will almost get 100 points on the uh, option so i i think i'll do another video on this but basically if you pick up options with low time value and very high intrinsic value it's almost as good as futures and unlike futures you can do it at very low margin right so i mean <clears throat> not a big <clears throat> deal but i i think we'll do another video about it it's not the occasion but anyway so that's our analysis for today we'll see you again tomorrow as usual this is not tips recommendations advice any of that stuff remember the most important thing is not your sense of direction the most important thing is how you react to the market and what is your psychology position chasing and risk management and your ability to handle losses when they come right so on that note i'll see you again tomorrow till then guys please take care and keep your capital safe